Hi guys, Ray here from City Fan TV, and I'm joined by the bald beauty that is Bernard Dineen. He's just changing last name to begin with B, and the alliteration can just continue. Um, how you doing, mate? The the budding bald beautiful <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah, I'm just uh, just trying to stay awake, uh, just you know, as much as I can, and obviously. Looking forward to this big, big game, yeah. which, well, I'm not looking forward to it, mate, to be honest with you, but yeah, we, have to, we have to be positive, don't we? Mate, if you're trying to stay awake, it's it's like being in the second half of the game last night, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to stay... Honestly, I've never seen so many people on the phones texting, looking at what's going on. Even fans who've been going for, you know, Sporting City for 60 years, they're on the phones and fiddling around because they were Bored shitless in that second half because we didn't try anyway. I hope we try against Liverpool on Sunday. Obviously, we're here for the preview. The one good thing is, overall, and I know a couple of players got a kick in and Nunez got a looks what looks like a dislocated finger or a broken finger, or whatever. I teach him to put pick his nose in public. Um, we we came through the game against FC Copenhagen and pretty much it looks like unscathed apart from. Bench players, so let's be. We, we have not got anybody, any of our major players injured. A little bit worried when Ru, Ruben Diaz went down and stayed down, but looks like we've 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 come through. We, you know, we played the game. It wasn't exactly taxing, especially in the second half. Very very easy, and we rest now until Sunday. Liverpool, on the other hand, they're out in uh, Prague playing Sparta Prague, playing away from home. First leg of the uh, of their. Sorry, they're not in the Champions League, are they? Sorry, in their Europa League game. And yes, they might take some risks resting players uh, for tonight because they've got that game, was it next week, um, at home against Sparta Prague. So they, it's a two-legged affair. They've got that chance to recover. If it was a one-legged game, wow, you know, or they needed to get a, a win there, that would have put some um, under pressure. So before we get into anything else, do you think Liverpool will go all out against Sparta Prague? Or do you reckon they might rest a few players, that a few key players? Well, I think I think Klopp's taking a few chances, isn't he, with, with what yeah. he's done. We saw it in the in the Carabao. We saw it in the FA Cup uh, oh. recently. Uh, he's taking some chances and he thinks he knows he can get away with it, so he doesn't mind doing that. But, you know, um, they, they don't have, they just don't have, the squad at the moment, do they? I know, I know Salah's back. They want to give him a few minutes, don't they, tomorrow, apparently. You want to, you want to get him on the pitch. They're desperate, desperate to have him back for Sunday. Uh, but I, I think he's a bit limited to what he can do. I can't imagine he's he's going to go too many kids. But he, but he will put a couple in because yeah. he's been doing all right and they've, they've still got the bounce factor. So yeah. I, I think he'll do that. It's what I've, what I've said for, for many years about City. When you put one kid in, it doesn't make that much difference to your side because you, if you're surrounded by, <coughs> excuse me, back in the day, if you're surrounded by Gundogan, Fernandinho, uh, KDB, David Silva, Aguero, you know, you've got 10 proper first team players, you can put a kid in mm -hmm. and he's going to um, probably, he'll be able to relax and he probably won't look bad because he's going to get a lot of the ball and he's going to do a lot of easy passes. If you put two in, then it starts, you know, becoming not disjointed, but it's not the same cohesiveness. The more you put in, the more dysfunctional you can um, you can end up. So I, I can't see him shoving more than one or two kids in because I think they've got enough players. I think Shobish lies back, Noonan is back, uh, Gak pours around. If, let's say Salah doesn't start, but there's three there's three attacking players for you there. McAllister's fit. Um, if we put Trent in midfield, there's five. You know, I I don't think there's going to be a, a problem putting out a yeah, decent they've, side. They've still got name players there that they can, they can, can play. And despite Endo, a handful, Endo, a handful yeah. of not key players, but first team players. Out. Yeah. No, look, look the, 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 Gomez is back, I think. Robertson's back. Virgil van Dijk's knocking about. Trent's fit. Um, and uh, He's he Trent's fit. Kid. I thought he's out for another couple of weeks. Who's that? Trent, no, he's not. Is he? Yeah, well, well, in the uh, Manchester Evening News a couple of days oh, ago, right. it said it'd be, be a maybe couple I missed, of weeks. Yeah, 
maybe I misunderstood. And then they got that. To well, I saw that thing yesterday. I thought, well, why is he? Why is he even commenting? He's not even playing. So whether yeah. the right. Manchester maybe, user got it wrong, maybe so, I, I, I misunderstood something there. Then, yeah. but they, yeah, they generally got a, a very good time. But how much of an advantage is there? Any advantage? I think there's. A, it's all marginal gains. So sometimes marginal gains is everything. How much advantage do you think we'll have by having that one extra day's rest at home whilst they're playing away? We've got to take every advantage we get, mate, because this is this is nightmare alley, Hamfield. Uh, we're still to prove, you know, after that COVID win, 4-1, four, four, was it? Uh, yeah. You know, three years Adam, ago. Adam. Yeah. I mean, we just, you know, we've gone back there and I think we drew one and we've lost one now since that, since that good <laughs> yeah. victory. Um, I'm just not, we just don't do it. I don't care whether it's Pep in charge, Mancini, Joe Merce, I don't care who, who it is. It's just something. And it's not the crowd. I mean, yes, it is. It, it will be a, a vitriolic crowd. Of course it will. It can be. It's no problem. But it's not, it's not always that. It's just something uh, about that place. And we, we saw it Old Trafford out. That used to be very yeah. similar, obviously, from the 80s onwards. And we got back on track on that. Hopefully we've sorted Tottenham out. We'll go back there and do it in the league Massive. after doing it in the cup. But you know that's only a cup match. It's not the you know it's not the same. Yeah. And this I do worry. We need every single little and tweaky advantage we can get. You know, if Salah plays on Thursday night and it doesn't quite come through it well enough, I'll take that because he's he's a bloody pain for us as well when he plays he always is and they have the style of football that, that we can't cope with can't i'm cope sorry with. um yeah. you know you talk the ga games against luton and people like that who can score goals against us i tell you one team who can score goals against us is liverpool with their style of play so it, we need every advantage we can get but at some stage you these players, these players have played in far hostile yeah. atmospheres than what they're going to get at Anfield. But it's just something, something about it. it it'll be difficult. I'm not, I'm not. I won't say what prediction is. We don't not yeah. doing that yet. But yeah, I, I don't think it make it's logical. I don't think it's logical yeah. how, how we go there and, and the thing is, don't get results. As, uh, while you have those statistics, as long as that monkey's on your back. OK, it's very hard to shake it. You've always got that in your back of your mind. And even though you might be only at City, you might have only joined City two or three years ago, you'll know about the history, you know, because you'll be told by the media, City have, you know, before we'd won three, three years ago, that City haven't won here for so many years. So you're told this again and again. You can't avoid it. And we sort of got the monkey off our back by battering them 4-1. Cracking, there was it last goal up from Phil Foden, I think. But we, we battered them. Um, uh, but then the media come back with, oh, well, it was COVID, no fans and blah, blah, blah. So there's still, it might be the baby monkey on our back now. But I think we've got that big monkey off our back. That's the main thing. And if we can eventually beat them, if we could, for instance, we beat them this Sunday, if we beat them at their place with their fans there, then I think the monkey's really off our back. Then when we go back again next year, we'll go with a lot more confidence uh, because, hey, the record's broken. So I think that's going to be important. Obviously, the you know, we, we make fun of them, but the crowd will have an impact. The occasion will have an impact. So it's a big, big game. And we just got to hope that we, we stand firm. I'm going to go slightly off kilter here, but who do you think is in pole position? I mean, we're going to find out after the weekend, or uh, certainly in March. Who's in pole position, do you think, for the league title this season? Right well, now. we always talk momentum, don't we? And if we if we say our game ended in a draw, it's only there's only going to be one victor, isn't there? From that, as long Absolutely. as they do the business, is Arsenal. Simple as that. I mean, we're we're both sort of sparring against each other, but them buggers, who of course we'll know very soon because we'll we're playing them our next league game after Liverpool, of course. Um, is it our, is it our next one? one well, anyway, very soon. Well, after, in the cup, then, got, uh, got the cup, and then we got. Arsenal and Villa, haven't we? I think mm. so. Yeah, I mean, they're the guy, they're, they're, they're love a draw, they will love a draw this week, they will benefit from that. Um, and of course, uh, Liverpool win, <laughs> disaster for us, but we win fine. It's all, it's all good. I'm not worried about Arsenal just yet. I'll worry about Arsenal in a couple of weeks' yeah. time when, when that's going up. So, but we were... at the moment, I don't. I, I, they did a percentage, didn't they? Was it the computer? And I yeah, saw City were like 52% or something like that. And all that. And I thought, 
bit higher that I, I would put yeah. it nearer 40 to 50 uh, for City in City's favour but you know perhaps 33 to 40 even you well, know 40 for me, City. I was talking to me uh, brother-in-law Man United fan on, on Saturday before the derby um, and I told him my, my feeling was I mean you know, City fans might say, oh, I don't have faith in the team. But I said, in my opinion, Liverpool are in poor position because they're on top. Right now, they're on top of the table. There's 11 games to go. If they don't lose to us, I think they're yeah. in poor position. I mean, position. a draw, it's in their own hands again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you look at the Knott's Forest game, what happens? I mean, you know, if that Lady Luck is shining on them, if you yeah. can call it Lady Luck or what, <laughs> what well, other things. That, but uh, That result has flipped everything around. Because if, if Liverpool had drawn that game, we'd be on top. And Liverpool know they have to beat us. Or at minimum, can't lose. But they really need to beat us to get ahead of us. Because then it's in our hands. If they beat us, it's in their hands. But the fact that they they got that dubious um, goal means they're on top. It's in their hands. A draw with us. And if Arsenal win, they're both ahead of us, level on points. And then it comes down to goal difference. Obviously, we've got 10 games to go. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, so I, I so I said I think it's in Liverpool, I think it's Liverpool's because they're on top and it's in their hands. And I said, second, I think it's Arsenal because at the moment, the battering teams look at the difference with what they did to Sheffield United. They had three goals in 20 minutes and they carried on battering them. Whereas against Copenhagen, we got a couple of goals and we sat back a bit, you know, uh, and, and started taking it easy after 10 minutes. So they've got that bit between the teeth and they're going for, for games now. Um, look, they might collapse again. They might bottle it again. But I, I still think that, for me, the way we're playing is we're conceding goals almost every game. And when we don't concede, we're winning 1-0. So the, the ours are really, really tight, whereas Liverpool generally are pumping teams. Arsenal are pumping teams. Five, six games ago, we had a superior goal difference to Arsenal. Now they're about, whatever, eight... 10 ahead. So, as I said, that's what I thought. I thought they're in pole position. Hey, we go and beat Liverpool. We're in pole position. Until the Arsenal game, we'll see what happens. But I also think we've got a very tough running with Liverpool, with Arsenal, with Spurs away, with Aston Villa, with Brighton. Very, very tough. Um, okay. Next, next thing to think about is I want to work out a team. I don't think it's going to be that tough. I think it's quite easy to work out a team. Um, because Pep has pretty much got it sorted now. I think there's only one position where he's um, he'll um and ah, and I think he'll ah rather than um in this case. So, do you want to start us off, or do you want me to have the easy choice? Um, go on, you have the easy choice. Okay, Haaland. No, no. Edison in goal. I'm having Edison <laughs> in goal. Okay, right back. Walker. Two centre backs. I'm going to say Stones as one because it has to be Stones. Who's your second centre back? Well, I'll tell you what, I, I, I thought Kanji was tremendous against yeah. Copenhagen, but it has to be Diaz. I agree. I agree. But I think it's close. I think for me, Stones is a standout, okay, because of the versatility and what Pep can utilise him for. But when I look at Kanji and Diaz, and I want to look at Actually, I don't care about going forwards. Who's going to make the fewest mistakes? Actually, I think that's a kanji. Hmm. But um, I think Pep will go with Diaz because of Diaz is Diaz. Um, left back. I think, I think Diaz will cope with Anfield better than a kanji. Yeah, yeah. Uh, left back. This is a well. He's Vardy back, isn't he? He's back. He was back playing last night, and he was Mr. Mr. Uh, some. I, I did say my thing today. Even when he when he met, makes a mess of it, he's so smooth looking. <laughs> so he's so he's so cool in what he does, and yet you know if he plays a wrong pass, but he still looks smooth. Yeah. And I think I'm hoping Aki. You know, God, I'm hoping Aki, but I just think he might stick Gavardi all. Yeah, that, that's my fear as well. But I want Aki. Rodri, I think we can agree on that. Um, ahead of Rodri, I'm, I'm, I'll throw two names out. You might want to disagree. KDB and Foden. Yeah, yeah I'm just wondering whether he'll squeeze Kovacic in with it being a competitive, you know, in that midfield. 
Well, we can come back to Kovacic, but you, are, are you going to play KDB and Foden? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Up front, because you rested him, Bernardo and Haaland. Yeah. Okay. So you've got one more spot, yeah. either out left or an extra midfielder. Now, the options are, you can shake your head or nod, Oscar Bob. Jack's injured, so that's easy. Nunes. Jeremy Doku. I'm in total agreement with you. I think there's only two players left. Calvin Phillips. No, 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 no. Um, two players left. We have Kovacic and Julian Alvarez, who, look, he got an assist yesterday from a corner. <laughs> and Great he got goal. A goal <laughs> yeah, and he got a, a goal from, was it outside the box? Because goal. Was <laughs> no, I think it was just inside, but so, that goal, I think that uh, goalkeeper's mask came in and he tried his embarrassment. Here's the thing. <laughs> whatever, Alvarez, whatever we say about Julian Alvarez, he's a lucky bugger, isn't he? You know, he, he, look, look what he's won. Champions League, League, FA Cup. He, he won the World Cup, you know, Super Cup, Club World Cup. He's won it all, you know. Um, but I, I suspect you're going to go with Kovacic. Yeah, I think I have to. But, you know, we know Pep likes Alvarez, but yeah. again, it's a bit like Gavardiol, isn't it? Gavardiol and, and Alvarez are Pep's pets, yeah. if you like. Now, <laughs> see, for me, I, I would, if we had Alvarez and Gavardiol, I would not be happy if they, those two started, Alvarez and Gavardiol. Um, I, I can accept, I don't know, I can't accept Gavardiol ahead of Aki. I can't accept that at all. Um, but... I want it to be tight because the 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 one takeaway from this game is we cannot lose. I think lose this game, the pressure on us is immense. We'll be four points behind Liverpool, possibly three, uh, two points behind Arsenal. The pressure on us will be immense, knowing that our next league game is Arsenal, Villa, Bra we've got Brighton as well. It, you know, it's and I think we need to avoid defeat in the first instance to keep uh to keep us us going. So yeah. I think I think we'll both we both take a draw. Yeah, if we were offered it at this point in time, Liverpool will still stay ahead and be confident that it's in their own hands. Yeah, but as you say, if if, if we lose this, it's the last four points Liverpool have got to drop in the last ten games to start with. It's doable. It's capable of doing, but. You know, at some stage, mate, we're we're not going to do it, are we? Some stage, the mighty Manchester City aren't quite going to do it. You're not going to keep. You, you cannot keep pulling it out of the bag, which uh, we we are doing. So, I mean, I'll, I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly go through Liverpool's games that remaining league games. Obviously, after us, they've got Everton away. Now, I thought, hey, they could draw that. They've got Man United in the FA Cup. Not bothered about that. They've got Brighton at home. Can't see them dropping points. Sheffield United at home. Can't see them dropping points. Man United away. Can't see them dropping points. Really. Uh, Palace at home. Fulham away. West Ham at home. Sorry, away. You've got Spurs at home. That's a tougher game. So, Villa away. I think they've got, I think they sort of, Spurs don't do it. I feel like they don't do it all. No, you're right. I mean, uh, but they've got Villa away and Villa might be, pushing for the Champions League, but that I think the pressure on Villa will be too much. I think Liverpool will cope with the pressure if they both need to win um, second to last game of the season better than Aston Villa will. The last game of the season is going to be interesting because obviously it's home to Wolves and all that pressure with Klopp and everything else leaving and if Liverpool need to win to get the title or whatever, it's, it's going to be so much on that. And Wolves are not rubbish. Yeah, but, but what they did that last they had Wolves last time when we had our Villa game, yeah, yeah. And they, had, they had walls and they got through it. They got through it in the end. So, it, it, I think Liverpool and Arsenal got easy run-ins in City. So, um, it's going to be it's going to be tough. So, you, going back to it, are you going with Kovacic or Alvarez? Then I think you're going with Kovacic. Just for his steal, I think uh, Alvarez just flits in and out of again. We need all eleven players for right. this one. We need eleven players playing, and Alvarez flits in and out it's, sometimes. My issue is we, we keep conceding. So to have two players ahead of the defense, yeah. I'm cool. I with think that. it works well with Rodri. I think Kovacic and yeah. Rodri 
all right, they buy past midfield a lot, don't they? <laughs> so yeah. it's no, it's, you know, you know what I'm, Liverpool are like. It'll be over the top, and you know we're playing the percentages on yeah. the offsides and stuff like that. But uh, I'd still rather probably have Kovacic. Yeah, you know? I, I'll go along with that because because you you got four two, and then you got four attacking proper attacking players. I mean, Kovacic might steal into the box now and again, but you've got but Pep might want to use John Stones in that role yeah. and move him into midfield. Having said that. I'll go along with Kovacic because, look, we've got Bernardo, Foden, KDB and Haaland. Rely on those four to do the business. That's it. That's it. And, you know, with 15, 20 minutes yeah. to go, you might want I'll to be... Alvarez would be a luxury in that anyway, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. I, I just... Because I, I just don't think he's... And this is no disrespect to him. Dangerous enough. Consistent enough. Haaland is... Stokes fear into them, into their hearts. Um, but I, I just don't think Alvarez does that. We don't, so. We've never really, I don't think our wingers, when you've had people like Sterling, who was rubbish mm. at Anfield for us, and people like even Mares struggled out, you know, yeah. our wing player at Anfield, it's never really happened. It's never it's never, it's never been there, yes. has it? You know, even when we've been, had good wing like Sane, uh, it's never never quite worked when it, when it yeah. comes to Anfield. But um, I think we agree on that team. I think we agree. You know, we both want to see Stones and Diaz. We both want to see uh, Aki at left back. We both want uh, Kovacic to partner Rodri. So, you know, I, th I think, uh, Pep, hey, listening, mate. Listen to us. We've got 217 years of experience behind us, the pair of us. We know what we're talking about. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I have... We don't have a lot. Do you think we have much on the bench to change the game, though, if it's not well, going our Alvarez. way? Well, you'll have Alvarez, you'll have Doku. Yeah. The thing about Liverpool against us, we've always, we've always, we always felt even if we were a couple of goals behind, we could always get back in it. Yeah. But not, I don't think against Liverpool you can. I always think, I said this to my, I'm sure I said this to my brother in law. If Liverpool are 2 0 ahead of City, I don't see City coming back. Against other teams, we can. If we're 2 0 ahead of Liverpool, I can see them coming back and winning. They like Real Madrid in that respect, um, so I, yeah. I'm and I'm going to finish off by giving you this once in a lifetime option. You don't need to give me a score prediction if you don't want to. I'm going to give you that option, but would you like to give a score prediction? I've got one, mate. I've got. I've, I'm doing Thingy's thing tomorrow as well on the Liverpool guy. I can't remember his name now. Um, Chris Welch. No. no. Doug, Scottish fella. Yeah, yeah. Dougie, Dougie. Yeah. So, Dougie, uh, yeah, Dougie. Same, I'm not going to alter it. I've, I've, I've decided it yesterday and I'm sticking with it. So Go on then. Liverpool, two. City, yeah. two. I'll tell you what, mate. You've got, you got to back your club. You've got to back your club. I'm going, uh, I'll be honest. I'm going <laughs> no, Liverpool, one. Manchester City three. Yeah, no. you're, boring, you're so bloody boring, you are. Yeah, no. Three ones. I tell you what, mate. If we do win three one, you'll be kissing my bald head for the rest of the year. Well, I don't, that's what I mean. If I go two two and we get a win, I'll be absolutely like a piggy mutt, mate. I don't care. <laughs> well, it's going to be a tough, tough old game. But hey, we'll see how it goes, mate. And uh, fingers crossed for the Blue Boys. Blue Boys, we we we, we could do with that win. As long as, as we said, as long as we don't lose, if we, if we beat Liverpool, I, th I think we can go on then we'll and believe. increase that percentage. Yeah, pole it's, position. Look, it's in our hands. If we beat Liverpool and Arsenal, we should be winning the league. Yeah. In all truth, uh, knowing our luck, we'll we'll chuck it away. Uh, someone uh, uh, un, unexpected, but well, we'll see what it what it where we go from there. We'll Sunday, tomorrow, is it the draw tomorrow for the Champions League as well? No, Champions League's on the fifteenth. 15th of March next Friday. All oh, right, I thought it was just Friday. Right, okay. Yeah, we've got a week, week to go, mate. Week to go because uh, surely there's we, some we more. Know, games. We know two. We know the quarters we and the semis, semis, don't we? we yeah, yeah. We, we know four teams that are in, but there's a couple, there's a couple uh, uh, four games next week. Mate. Good four, te <laughs> four teams are through. Good teams aren't they? through yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was going to say you can't do the draw when there's four teams that haven't um, <laughs> qualified yet. So um, yeah, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. You take care and thank you for joining us for this preview of the Liverpool-Manchester City game. Take care, guys.
See you around, Blues. <laughs>